those of us who have reads to bring them forward as well. Here we are now after we've been to our memorial service at the Pierhead uh, to, to wish our uh, friends who have long gone all the best and we are still thinking about them. And now we've come to uh, the Liver Buildings uh, to commemorate the Canadian effort. And here we are in a magnificent building. Honestly, it's the first time I've been in and it's absolutely terrific. It's so much part of the history of Liverpool. 90% of all the trade came in through Liverpool. You know, it's magnificent. It's steeped in history, maritime history. 
I, I, I sailed on the Canadian Pacific. My first ship was a the Beville, and she went down in uh, St. John's, New Brunswick. So we put ashore there, and we sailed there, and then we got a taken down to uh, Quebec and joined the ship and then uh, come home and, and, and the next the next Canadian Pacific was the Empress of Canada. I went on a message. And uh, what's, your, what's your name sorry? So John Loftus, L O F T O S yeah. And what was your role when you were sailing? A B. Well I finished up A B O at that time I was only a junior only seaman. My first trip and, New Pacific, 1957. I was in the Empress of Britain with uh, Martin Quinn was the boatswain. We're just going to have a, a few words about why we're here, and then we'll proceed to uh, some prayers for those in Canadian Pacific who gave their lives and then we'll have an act of blessing, a rededication of the new memorial. Um, this memorial, uh, you will hear in a moment, has, has come, uh, come up from the deep because uh, it had been lost for some years and the Royal Library Building have uh, restored it and put it back in place. The Canadian Pacific Line, as I suspect all of you know better than I do, uh, was very much involved in the war effort a number of ships were out in the Far East, um, particularly around Singapore, and uh, were sunk. Many lost their lives. Others who were taken prisoner um, went to various prisons in the Far East. Some worked on the railway. So Canadian Pacific had a proud history of service to this country. And after the war, they put up this plaque. But let's pick up the story then. I'm going to introduce uh, Ian Edwards uh, from the Royal Library Building. Just, just for 90 seconds of how this has ended up here. Yeah, thanks very much. Um, we took over the management of the building um, around four years ago now. Um, I've never been in the building before. We uh, had to learn the ropes of the building. Um, I was in the basement one day and we came across the plaque buried with a lot of debris, old doors, etc. in the basement. So we managed to drag it out. It took a few of us to get it out, as you can imagine, the weight of it. Um, so we took the decision then that we needed to get this back on display where it needs to be in the, in the atrium. Uh, so after a lot of planning, uh, after the, the wall specially rebuilt behind to hang the, 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 the bronze plaque, uh, we managed to get it put up uh, summer this year. So we're very proud to display it within the building. Um, obviously we've got close links with the Canadian Pacific Railway. We've been in touch with the company pr uh, recently as well. So they're fully aware of what we're doing. Uh, they've extended the loan for us of the, of the Empress of France at the back as well. So, um, yeah, we're really proud to honour the fallen of the Canadian Pacific Railway. Thank you very much. It's just nice to know that our grandfather is getting recognised now for losing his life at sea.